Happening right now, Mayapak School Board is still deciding on the fate of the school's mascot's name, and their state funding is now at risk because of this. But News 12's Ben Nandy has been following this story since the beginning when the state education department put out an order last month that all Native American school mascots needed to be retired. And Ben, you're joining us now with the latest here. Where is the school board? Me the board meeting just wrapped up. What can you tell us about what happened, what they talked about? Well, there were some developments we'll get into it in a moment. Mayo Pack is one of at least two school districts in our area that have not done away with their Native American mascots despite this order. And there are still people on this board and many people in this community that are holding on to hope that they can keep their team name, the Indians. I've been living here for 30 years and I don't mind the mascot. <laughs> Don't care either way, change it, don't change it. But something must change. The school board is figuring out how to handle the state education department's order that all schools stop with Native American mascots, team names, and imagery. The district has until the end of this school year to change the mascots or at least submit a plan to have it changed by 2025. If they don't act, NYSED says they'll yank Mayo Pack state funding. It's tricky, it's sensitive. Board President Ben DeLulo told other board members they can't keep things as they are. I think what happened now is the mandate from New York uh, State Education has given us a directive with some teeth. And the teeth is that they're well, it can jeopardize your state aid. In an effort to keep the mascot name, some board members are seeking the one exception NYSED is allowing. If a district can get official approval from a New York tribe, the state may let that district keep its mascot. Here's the problem. They alluded to the fact that there are these people, but we don't have right now any solid name of someone that is from a federally recognized tribe. So even though there was some discussion uh, among the board members about how to keep their team name, the board and the superintendent did agree that when they go to repaint their athletic fields and their basketball court, that they do away with the spear and the feathers, that imagery from the logo, and just put an M. Ben Nandy, News 12.